what's going on guys welcome back to another video in this video I'm going to show you guys how to add a custom Firefox background just like the one you see here and you can choose whatever picture you want and even a gif that's right and today I'm going to show you guys how to do that and the reason I'm making this video is because recently I started using Firefox and um, one thing I noticed that was different from Chrome that you couldn't do here is that, like in Chrome there's a customize button that you can click and you can just easily change the background there's themes and stuff that change the background but in Firefox you have to go in a little bit of a more roundabout process but trust me it's super simple you don't have to do anything so first let me remove this and then I'll be back alright guys now as you can see I've completely removed my wallpaper and undid all the steps and the first thing you want to do is go to about colon support and once you press this it should take you to this troubleshooting information page and um, in Mac you might have to scroll down a bit but there should be a profile folder here and you want to click open folder and in Mac it actually takes you to this folder with this selected you just want to double click it in Mac or yeah and it takes you to this window so now in Mac whatever you're using you should be in this window and you want to create a new file here so you just you can right click this works in Mac as well you have to create a new folder and you want to call this Chrome just like that you want to rename it and call it Chrome and now inside Chrome you want to create another new folder and you want to call this IMG it stands for image now, now we're gonna to have to create a CSS file and in Windows it's actually pretty easy you just go to text document and you can call this um, user content .css. but in Mac making a new file is actually a bit of a different process um, I'll have a video on how to do it with like a shortcut or something but for now one, th one thing you could do is you could go down and you can you see one of these text documents you could just um, uh, once again you can just copy this and you can go to Chrome and you could just paste this in and then you could just open it and as you can see it doesn't have anything in it so I guess this just you should make sure it has nothing in it and now you can just rename it to user content .css. and you do need a you do need a, a, a code editor like um, Adam or no no plus plus and now inside your IMG folder you want to um, put in your picture so I'll do that in just a second all right so now I have my image and now we can go back to our original folder and open our CSS file so you do need a, um, a code editor like I said I'm using notepad plus plus so it should open like instantly if you're using Adam or some other ones, it, sometimes it takes a while. But like, yeah, it's whatever you prefer, man. It doesn't matter. I'm not here to tell you what to do. And inside this um, CSS file, you don't actually have to write anything. Basically, um, there will be a pastebin in the description, and there will be two pastebins. The first pastebin is called Firefox background CSS code blah blah blah, and there will be raw paste data you just need to copy this control command C whatever and and let's open this up and you can just control V it in this is all the code you'll need to do now one thing you'll need to change you see this on line 13 it says background blah 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 and then your image URL right here you're gonna have to change this because obviously your image is not called cherry blossom 1260646.jpg like mine for example is called nice.jpg so you keep this img because it's in your img folder but here you just change this to whatever it says right here so if it's like um nice.gif or nice.png you would just write nice.gif gif or nice.png but obviously we have a jpg here jpeg file so um, th that should actually do it. So if we save it, Control Command S, whatever you're doing, and you exit out of there, um, that should be all the code um, in. 
So we are almost done with this process. So first thing we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to um, go to another page in Firefox called About um, Config. So here we went to About colon support. Here we go to About colon config. And I have it disabled, but normally it would say here, um, you wanna make changes to your computer, it could like harm performance and blah blah. We're not doing anything that's gonna be dangerous or whatever to your um, Firefox or computer. So you can just um, exit out and you can untick if you don't wanna see it again. And here, you wanna search up toolkit. And down here, you should see toolkit legacy user profile customizations dot style sheet. Now, if you can't see it or it's kinda of hard to find, I made it easy for you. You can just go to the first paste bin, the, the another face, not the first one, the second one, and you can just control C this command C whatever you're doing. Um, yeah, you want to just control C command C this, and you want to go back here and in the search bar, you paste it in, and voila, it's right here. You just double click it, and that's actually all the steps we'll need to do so if we exit out of firefox you know now restart firefox now restarting on mac is different on, on windows you can just exit out by pressing the x button but on mac if you exit out and you have it saved in your um, toolbar you have to actually right click it and then there's a quit button and you have to press quit um, um, but on mac on windows you can just exit out now if i open firefox back up you'll see that we have our beautiful background here back again if you have a gif it'll be moving which is pretty cool and yeah you can do whatever you want with this basically and i thought that was pretty cool actually that you could do this but um that's gonna be all for this video if you did enjoy the video a like and sub would be awesome man and if you want to see more videos like this or you want to see our newest video you can click here and if you want to see a suggested video you can click right here but other than that, guys, I think that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and peace out. Bye.